Isn't that weird? I think Black Mirror screwed me up today. Good morning! I stayed up late last night and I watched Black Mirrors. It was one of their newer episodes where it's like an interactive show. I stayed up till 2.30 to watch it and I had to know the ending and it kept going and going. And by the time I got to the ending, I was not satisfied. Like, yeah. Well, I guess that's the whole point of Black Mirror is like it's a little disturbing. So then I picked up the other ending and then I was like, oh, okay. And then I, I still felt uneasy. I made mommy go to sleep. You make me go to sleep? You know how the whole point of the show is kind of about like technology and how it can ruin your life, basically. This morning, I'm trying to turn on the lights with Google and the lights won't turn on. So I'm like, okay, I'll just turn it on manually. It's not turning on. It says that the lights are not working right now. I think it's because of the windstorm. I don't know how that would make sense because the kitchen lights turn on, but not the living room. I don't get it. Anyway, just a great example. How I'm relying so much on technology, I can't even do it manually. I think I'm thinking too much into it. I'm making JB's lunch. Finally sending her to school with hot lunches. Because I ordered one of these on Amazon. And it's pretty much a thermal. Like a food ther thermos? Thermos. I can make spaghetti for her. What else goes in the thermos? Soup? We have the mac and cheese. I have a frozen gogurt, which will be defrosted. Yo! Why y'all so loud? JB, you need to get your shoes on. Um, by the time she has lunch, this will be defrosted and still cooled. Some pears, water, and povlerone. It's like a milk candy. I don't even know what how to explain it. Mommy's tired. I sliced an avocado the wrong way, which is so unlike me. Like, who am I? And I'm like, wait a minute. So, yeah, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to the salon and get my hair thinned a bit or add layers or something because it's just I don't know, it's so boring. And you know me, once I decide on something, I have to get it done right away. Always happens in the new year. What is up with me? Weird things are happening right now. What is up? Try to unlock the door. I had to manually unlock the door. I know it sounds like Judy, really? Isn't that weird? I think Black Mirror screwed me up today. Or last night. Oh no, it was today because it was two in the morning. I don't even know how to change the batteries on this thing. Look at this. My, uh, the key is not working. It looks like it's low on battery. I haven't had to unlock a car in years. Actually, Benji's. <gasps> is this car dead? Did somebody leave the light on? Oh no, the light was left on. Who used this car? Okay. Well, that explains it. Okay. What's going on here? What's going on? It's a windy day today. Yeah, hey, honey. The car's dead. Which car? The SUV. This is uh, the universe telling me to walk instead. Judy, do it manually. Veggie's so sweet, he got my car jumped. Brought it to me, <laughs> and I have my hair cut. What do you guys think? Does this look like total mom haircut? Shorter, but voluminous. I feel so fresh. This is exactly what I needed to enter the new year and it's not too drastic like you know I'm like I'm not bleaching my hair although I don't have any regrets with that either but I love it 
time to go home. I actually have a little bit of work to do. So you know we have a big family and we have lots of friends. So the gifts are still pouring Hi. in and Uncle Kibbs came by and dropped off gifts for the girls. So you guys could open now. Can you open it? Go ahead. Make it go <laughs> Turn up the wrong one. Oh, it's so, no, that's hers. That says Mia, because that's from her Ninong. Now you have a family of dolls. You're too young to sew. Huh? I'm old enough to sew. To sew? You're gonna sew, Kira? I wanna sew too. Well, open yours. <laughs> oh my goodness, you could have a spa day with mommy? Look at mommy, look. Wow. Okay, everybody, what do you say? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Uncle Kibbs. Thank you, Nino and Kibbs. Now they all blue. Kira, you gave it to her. Kira, did you give away your doll? No, that's your special doll, baby. You want me to have a doll? Look at Mia's doll collection. The girls helped me make gyoza. And this is what's left, so I'm gonna cook this today. The rest we're gonna freeze, because I also made uh, some beef steak. Cooked all this meat because I didn't want it to go bad. I think tomorrow is the last day, so just want to cook it, get it over with. Um, but I'm gonna try cooking this gyoza for the first time. Benji cooked it last time. Uh, I looked it up on Google and it looks fairly simple. I'm gonna use this wide pot down here. I wonder if it matters if we use canola or um, olive oil. Heat the oil in a large nonstick pan over medium to high heat. Okay, we're just gonna do olive oil. I'm not sure. That looks about good. Ooh, it's gonna be so good because it's gonna be fresh. Can you tell the ones <laughs> that the kids made? I just want to get them over with because I'm kind of tired but they insisted on helping. And I didn't have the heart to say no because the fact that they're excited about cooking, that's like something I never really had as a kid. So who knows, what if maybe in two years they'll be making us lunch. Okay, I think this is ready. Ooh, I don't know, this seems really hot, but it says cook for three minutes. Okay, that looks good. I read too fast and it said non-stick. I'm using the complete opposite of non-stick, but okay, let's just hope this works. So we're adding a quarter of a cup of water and that is gonna steam. Let's just hope that it turned out okay. Ah, I should have read carefully, non-stick. What was I thinking? And it says to drizzle some pure sesame, sesame oil. I love the smell of sesame seeds. Just do it. All right, I'm trying to spread around the sesame oil. I think it's ready. What is up with this one? Yeah, just be on the bottom. Okay, we're gonna use our Hello Kitty spatula. Yeah, those look good. Okay, lesson learned, Judy. Non-stick. Non-stick or cast iron. I'm sure cast iron would have been bomb too. Okay, sorry presentation's not there, but it has that nice brown crispiness. Thanks, Google. No, I think sister made that. You can eat that anyway, it's good. Mommy, baby said no. What's in mine? With the sauce? I'm Kira, how did you do? Kira, sauce with it. How did it turn out? Um, excuse me. 
Your eyes. Mia actually has her iPad away from her eyes. What a good girl. But you know what I'm really amazed with is this. Lumpia gyoza beefsteak. Mm -hmm. that's, that's quite a lot of preparation. Did you cook the gyoza or were you planning on it? Oh no, I just cooked um, some gyoza for the kids. Oh, is there still some left? I'm so excited. Whoa, Mia has 140 tickets on her ABC Oh, mouth. that also looks good. You know what, maybe I'll have that right now though. Just ran three miles and I thought I'd do something interesting this year that I've never done before. What? I'm gonna add up all the miles I run this year. Oh so. yeah, well if you do it on your um, Nike app, it does it for you. I know, I don't use that Nike app when I'm running on a track because I just don't want it, uh, the hassle, so I just add it up. So I've ran seven miles this year, so far. I feel like in, I'm in like a kid's arcade right now. Mm -hmm. the iPad sounds. Honey, this is so good. Mm-hmm. We're ending our evening watching The Office. This is our go-to when we don't know what to watch. And it's either this or uh, Friends. After watching a disturbing or sad movie, I have to watch an episode of this. Although I didn't after Black Mirrors because I was so tired. Unless you want to be stressed out, I don't recommend watching Black Mirrors. We're gonna call it a night. We'll see you tomorrow. Night-night. Night-night.